In this short video, we're going to talk about the differences between mammography and thermography and why we don't recommend that you use a thermogram instead of a mammogram. The first thing we have to understand is what are thermograms and mammograms measuring? Because what they measure is completely different. With a mammogram, we're looking for calcifications and densities, things that are deep internal into the breast that are very clearly viewed on the mammographic study. Whereas with thermograms, we're looking at heat patterns, vascular distortion patterns and circulation changes that are at the surface of the skin. Now, which one is better? Well, they're both critical in order to screen the breasts for a potential serious problem. So it's important that they're both used together so that we get the benefit of both technologies and the information that they are picking up. Now, Another reason why we don't recommend that we use thermography instead of a mammogram is that each technology will miss something. Indeed, even mammograms are not 100% and neither are thermograms. So the idea is that we like to use one technology in order to make up for the lack in another technology. And by looking at the body through two different lenses, one in the lens of temperature, the circulation and physiology, and the second in the lens of densities, calcifications, and deep internal structures and anatomy, we get a more complete picture of what's going on. So understand if someone does choose to use thermography instead of a mammogram, certain cancers that are very easily detectable on mammography will be missed. And we want you to know that that's the risk and that's why we don't recommend using one versus the other. So I hope this clarifies a little bit about how to use the thermogram alongside breast radiology and why we don't recommend using a thermogram as a replacement. The last thing I wanna say before we end this video is that just as I said this for a mammogram, this also holds true for breast MRI, ultrasound and breast biopsy. We certainly don't want to use the thermogram as a way to dismiss the results of another test. So if somebody has an abnormal ultrasound or MRI, we wanna still go ahead and do those tests because it may be picking up something that the thermogram can't see. And of course, the most significant one is breast biopsy. Even if the thermogram is normal and there is a recommendation for a biopsy, we recommend that you continue to go through with that biopsy because the biopsy is gonna give information that won't be on the thermogram. And ultimately it's the only definitive way to know if something serious is present or not. I hope that clarifies things. And that is the difference between mammography and thermography.